All righty, let's get this started. This is, uh, yeah, day one, project one. First time doing canister, first time doing Damascus. Um, I haven't forged anything with a propane forged before. In total, I have made two knives uh, by forging, uh, and it's many years ago. Uh, one of them I gave to a friend. Uh, you can see a video where he presents it uh, at his channel, Bill Gaudi. Uh, I'm a knifeaholic. I'll see if I can uh, find a link and put it in the description at some point. Anyway, made this up. Let's look at that. Whoa. And we're back from welding this up. I have a very little uh, welding experience. It's my first time with a MIG welder and well I've welded some stainless uh, with TIG welding I think it's called. I don't even know the the names of the different uh, welding very much. Um, basically I have seen Fortune Fire and I got uh, inspired and thinking I can do that it's gonna be easy <laughs> well okay probably not gonna be easy and this is probably gonna involve a lot of failing and it's gonna be hand hand forging yes uh, on my uh, train track anvil uh, Just gonna try block the back hole with the. I don't have any fire bricks, so I'm gonna use like a regular concrete tile thingy. It will probably crack and something, but it doesn't really matter. Uh. Well, here we go. Into the forge. But uh, let's time this 10 minutes past one when I put it in and from what I've been reading uh, I need to let it soak a really long time before I start uh, working on it to get the core temperature up uh, and not to fuck everything up because yeah but that's about it was when I think it's hot enough 
I should wait at least 15 minutes. So, given I have no idea what's hot enough is, uh, we'll just gonna let it soak. Go uh, once in a while, I'm guessing that's good. Yes. I think if I let the handle stick out, I can uh, turn it around without uh, opening. While this is heating up, uh, I would like to uh, take the chance to uh, thank my sponsor. Yeah, that was it. So, on with the heating up. I can see I really need to clean my lens. My camera. I hope you can see me. I haven't really been filming much for a long time. My name is crossed over. Uh, I didn't do blacksmithing videos before. I did fishing. Something odd. But well, let's see. Been in there nine minutes, so. Give it a, at least 15 minutes more because now I'm thinking it's looking hot. But I might be very, very wrong and it's, it's just the outer shell. We'll uh, leave it at that. that uh, my voice is uh, all right compared to this and it is terrible um, on a more serious note I would really like to thank some people uh, actually all of you uh, blacksmithing youtubers who went before me who I've been spending a bunch of time uh, watching learning from uh, I don't know if I should mention names or if I shouldn't mention names or whatever because I can't mention everybody and some will be left out and so but anyway there's a lot of uh, very good information out there and a lot of learning tutorials and I've benefited from it I think I hope we will see um, what I have been missing though and what have been giving me inspiration to actually start doing this on video is I haven't been able to find much failure. <coughs> I think the one who uh, is actually putting up some, uh, I don't know, failures, a, a very good journey uh, is uh, Green Beetle. Uh, so uh, yes, I did mention the name, um, but that's just because He's the only uh, YouTuber I've found that's shown the journey from where he begins to uh, where he is now. And, and, and as me, who don't have any, uh, you know, previous experience with this, uh, I don't have a big knife community to go to and uh, learn stuff from. It, it would be nice to uh, be able to see the failure rate uh, instead of just, you know, seeing all the successes. Uh, success is cool, it's nice, and of course it's, uh, it's a pleasure to watch a knife get finished and, and you see the end product. But for me, I think part of that journey is also uh, all the knives that doesn't make it, uh, all the 
mistakes and shit. Sorry if my English is a bit... Uh, it's not my native uh, language and... I will try not to swear as much as I normally do. So... Yeah. This is gonna be a failure journey. Because I am expecting failures. Uh, I'm not expecting that just because I've been watching YouTube and reading uh, the internet that I'm now able to make Damascus. <coughs> Would be cool though. But that's probably not the case. So... Yeah. I'm gonna turn this over. more like a winter activity than summer but okay it's late late summer it's soon to be winter I guess if we will have a winter this season last year we didn't have any winter here no snow no nothing Give it another five minutes or so, and uh, I think we should be there. I had to undress a bit. That's for another video.
going on. It looks like something liquid is uh, coming out of the billet. So I have no borax or anything in it. It's a canister. It's just steel powder. Right? So the handle fell off. I'm not quite sure what uh, what's been going wrong or going on, but something has definitely spilled. The canister have cracked. My guess is this isn't optimal. So, I don't know. Um, I guess I will have to let it cool down. Then I actually think I will uh, try and weld the canister up and then uh, reattach the, um, the handle and uh, forge it some more. I'm pretty sure that liquid melt melted out of uh, my billet and onto my fire brick and stuff. So, hmm. I haven't seen that on the internet, so. I'm guessing that's why I like to have a would have liked to have some fail videos where what the fuck sorry for my English and um, what the um, what happened I don't know if any of you guys know please uh, to the keyboard let me let me know thank you I guess it's um, break time and yeah, turning down for the crazy jazz, yeah, YouTube and, and music and I, I would wish I just blast loud music here, uh, I'm sure the neighbors would love that on top of the hammer, um, I don't know, but YouTube and uh, if I'm ever gonna be a YouTube millionaire, I can't have all those copyright issues, so yeah.
I gave away the secret. This is why I do this. To secretly become famous and a YouTube star. <laughs> so. Break time. The decision has been made to cut it. Uh, I tried to weld the crack and me sucking at welding, I just made the hole bigger and figured that if I cut the top off, I'll be able to inspect whatever have happened in here, and see how much I failed and thinking maybe I can recap it here and continue because everything down here feels and seems solid up here not so much and it was filled this way so maybe for some reason I didn't get enough middle in the bottom or I don't know what happened um, on the net, they said it probably wasn't metal that melted out, and I have to agree that it probably wasn't the the 440C that melted or the bolt bearings. The question is, was there something else in the steel powder? Uh, this wasn't steel powder for. Um, Forging, but something I got from a Chinese metallurgy something where they make liquid metal and I don't know if there's some flux stuff in this or whatever it was a test uh, just got it off uh, the internet and so we will see what it is and what it isn't and how much of a fail this is or how it looks inside compared to the stuff that's on the bottom of my fire brick in the forge. So. Did there be light? Not sure if there's anything to be done here. But maybe. I think I will uh, give this a, a try more and see if I can do something with it. Alrighty, it's day two of the forging. So. Welded up the canister and gonna give it another go, giving it less time under the, the heat. Sorry if I'm yelling now. I'm just to tap it together <coughs> from what I've been uh, told on the internet I can't do this by hammer so fair enough it's a learning experience I have not been expecting this to work out or anything it's just learning experience and these was the first materials I got home so I'm gonna try them out that's about it ones who've said it, it 
can be done, I've said, uh, tap it lightly with a hammer for quite some time to get it work together and then uh, start working in some model. So I will see the expectation of failure is, uh, is high. I'm having fun, that's important. Nothing is uh, coming out of the billet and even though I was told that metal needs to be very very hot to flow from the billet, I have a suspicion that uh, maybe the steel powder from uh, China contains some kind of flux or something because it's, it's made for metallurgy or something where they, actually, where, uh, they cast John Snow Fortune. And so, but trying to keep the temperature low and not keep it in the fire for quite as long as I did the first time. And uh, hopefully, one crack the outer shell. We will see how it turns out. So the canister have cracked all over and it just moves all around. But there is another can inside the first can that broke, 
Gut. Alrighty. Well, the auto can has all cracked. The handle has come off. Um, so, what I'm gonna do now is just gonna let it cool a bit so I can uh, weld on uh, the handle again. Um, yeah, then we continue. I guess. So far, it's it's feeling firm. Like. No more stuff is moving around and it, it's feeling solid everywhere I hit on it and not moving as much. It's, the outer shell moves uh, quite a bit. But. So I re-welded the handle and yeah, it kind of rattles. I don't know if... Probably not this. So, gonna heat it up and smack it some more. Not looking good. I think we can uh, say no more waste than this. We will uh, let it cool down and we will open and see uh, how much of a failure we have made.
battery full. Let there be light. Uh, it's another project. <laughs> It has been uh, polished up a little bit with some 400 grit and well and the anchor grinder we saw that just before and I've cut like corner off so there's a little cracking going on indeed some inclusions and whatnot they are not Let's see if it's good Better with the light here. Maybe not. So this is far uh, far from perfect. Um, it's much much better than uh, what I had uh, hoped to uh, expect. And yes, I think I still have some outer can on this side and here as well but it's a fairly solid piece of steel you can see the ball bearings in the um, stainless steel <coughs> I would call this a, a success even though it's uh, forged in failure, uh, this was a successful failure. A uh, much better result than I had hoped for. You can clearly see the ball bearings embedded into the, um, the steel here. So, pretty cool. Yes. Um, what will happen uh, will happen in another video. Um, 
I think we should continue the Forged in Failure series and I will try to make something from this. Uh, I think my best approach would be something like dipping it in borax acid, bor acid or whatever it's called, uh, something like that. Um, living where I do, uh, borax is totally banned. Uh, I can't buy borax, um, well, not legally, or it, not in the supermarket, uh, stuff like that. Uh, but I don't know if it's illegal to buy borax, but it's not something that is uh, normally sold. Um, I've imported some from China, Chemical Pure. Um, and I've ordered some from um, a blacksmithing company because there is a blacksmithing company locally who sells um, they call it, call it welding powder instead of borax and then it's small borax but it's not chemical pure borax it's mixed with something else to make up a welding flux I think um, at least it doesn't uh, look like uh, pure borax crystals um, so I'm thinking I would make some uh, bore acid with the crystals and use the um, welding flux for um, dry fluxing but I'm thinking maybe if some uh, bore acid got in here it would help clean up these uh, deep cracks and maybe squirt out some of the um, bad inclusion stuff in there who knows i don't but it'll be fun i have to wrap this up thank you for watching it's been a long video if you've uh, watched this far awesome uh, i hope um, you had some input uh, and i've liked this video if not, well, too bad for you. Hope I didn't waste your time too much. Until next time, stay safe, play hard, all that kind of stuff.